I'm 15 years old and a freshman at Bartram Trail High School, and I've come to speak with you today in order to shed light on an important issue at Bartram Trail. This matter is much larger than photoshopped yearbooks or dress code sweeps. It's the way young women's bodies are viewed, not only by the administration and the district, but by the world. Schools should be our safe space, and by imposing the current dress code and only editing young women's bodies, you are reinforcing the idea, sorry, that our changing bodies are something to be ashamed of. Not only is the wrong idea being sent, but the implementation of the dress code has become the distraction. In regards to the yearbook, the standard senior attire for young women does not follow the, young, does not follow the dress code and their photos have remained untouched. This is evidence to support how teachers and administration continue to cherry pick how the dress code is applied. As a young female student, I don't feel safe or focused in my learning environment. I'm constantly worried that I will be pulled out of class and punished for my attire. I'm currently wearing the outfit that I wore on picture day. My family and I see nothing wrong with it, and according to the administration at Bartram Trail, I am in dress code. This gives the school no right to edit my photo. Mr. Forson, yesterday an article mentioned you have four daughters, but that does not mean you completely understand a young woman's experiences. You also mentioned yesterday that you thought it was a shame we were speaking about these photos, and I think it's a shame that this is what it's been um, seen as like the main thing. That's not what this is about. We've been trying to get this on the agenda for months, and the media was our last resort. Now this has become an international issue. The current situation is unjust, unwarranted, and unconstitutional. It is unjust because it is making young women feel insecure and uncomfortable. It is unwarranted because it sexualizes young women's bodies, and it's unconstitutional because young women are treated differently than young men. The new changes to the dress code are moving in the right direction, but it's not enough. I think a committee of kids who experience the effects of it would help make a, a dress code appropriate. Thank you very much. Thank you, Riley.